For Phyllis Diller, comedy was not pretty. I am in the 14th year of a 10-day beauty plan. <laughs> it was sarcastic, self-deprecating, and funny. I do dinner in three phases, serve the food, clear the table, bury the dead. Phyllis Ada Driver was born in 1917. She was a housewife and a mother until her then-husband, who I was unemployed, so now, forced her in her up. late 30s to become a comedian to support the family. Someone had to make a living. Turned out it had to be me. I have a theory that to make a comic, you have to have suffer some kind of a, a, an abandonment or loss or lack in childhood. I was raised on fear. Uh, all my life. She was a hit doing stand-up in clubs around the San Francisco Bay Area. Then, discovered by Bob Hope, Diller started doing TV with Very early good. appearances on Groucho Marx, You Bet Your days. Life, and the game show, What's My Line? Soon, she was on TV and in nightclubs everywhere. I was actually the world's ugliest baby. When I was born, the doctor slapped everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's my real laugh, and I often laugh. And I, if everybody laughed that way, uh, they'd be healthier. Phyllis Diller did a few movies with Bob Hope, but mainly stuck to what she knew best, the non-stop one-liners. I'm in such bad shape, I wear prescription underwear. Phyllis Diller paved the way for countless female comedians and always oh, had the last laugh. <laughs> Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Hollywood.